Good morning guys, what's up? Today we're gonna have a little bit of a different vlog. I have to go to work right now, and then afterwards we have Nighthawks practice. So in the meantime, while I head to work, let's show you guys a little bit of a, a B-roll clip of kind of what I filmed a couple days ago. Hopefully everyone has a great day. Smile, be happy, enjoy the day. See you guys later. Guys, that video that you just saw, I strung that stick a couple days ago. Going to be using that hopefully for this upcoming season. Leave a comment below, let me know what you thought about the video. But right now we'll just go over a general overview of a couple of sticks that I used in training camp and hopefully for the rest of this year. So let's get started. Stick number one, obviously. Stick I just strung up. Right here, great shooters. We have East Coast Hero 2.0. Way I string my stick. Super simple. I like a little low to mid pocket. That way, when I'm cradling one hand, the ball can sit at the bottom there nice and easily. But then when I go to shoot, the ball slides up right about those that shooter area, and I can get a quick release. There's stick number one. Warrior regulator shaft. Silver. Pretty simple setup. Stick number two, my training camp stick. This one I used all of training camp, starting to get a little worn out. I have some East Coast Hero 2.0 striker, gray, some white shooters. I usually tend to go with an all white stick. I've never really used a dyed head before, but this year I'm gonna be going with a navy setup. I like a head that's as wide as possible. As an offensive player, I don't like my stick to be pinched. I think that the wider the stick, the better. That way I give my, myself a chance at catching every possible pass that comes my way. So, wide as possible, three straight. Again, low pocket to mid. That way when I'm going to shoot, it slides right up at the shooter. You can tell that the stick's super worn in because the pocket is more right up top with the shooter rather than down low. Same thing, but with a red regulator shaft, full tape, same thing, always, no matter what. Third stick, same exact setup, but newly strung, three across, same exact pattern, nice little length at the bottom in case you need to adjust your stick a little bit, navy head again, and a warrior regulator shaft, full tape, of course. Again, pocket, nice and low to start. When you go to shoot that, it slides right up to the shooters. Get a nice release off. A little bit of channel for you. It's a general idea of how much I use. But overall, I like a nice smooth release with not a lot of wet. We've gone through one stick, two sticks, three sticks. Time for a warp. I have a warp mid to high pocket, all white, diamonds a little bit smaller, nice little pocket in there for you. I don't like to use the screw 
that comes on the inside. I tend to take that out. Just makes the stick a lot lighter. Not that it's heavy in general by any means, but I like for my sticks to be as light as possible, but durable at the same time. A little bit of whip on this, more than I'm used to. Uh, but holds the ball well, throws nice, smooth release. Uh, go get yourself a warp, people. You need a warp. Everyone needs a warp in their life. A lot of people give me grief about my butt ends. This one's on the smaller scale, but I like my hand to slide down so that when I'm shooting, it pulls right down on it. I don't like a butt end that's all the way up here. It's useless shortening your stick, but I like to be able to cradle, do what I need. All from right there. Make sure you self, get yourself a warp. Side note, this hat. Anyone who knows the history behind this hat probably have a pretty good story. Mine, I got it from Chris Cluche. Started off, traded him a Michigan hat for this. Not a Brooklyn Nets fan by any means. Sports fan, but Brooklyn Nets. Let's pick it up. Last head of the day. The head that I used all of last year. Same exact pattern as the other sticks. The only difference, this one is super worked in. Hero 2.0, semi soft mesh, three straights, gray top on it. I had a yellow bottom string in it for Michigan at the time, recently graduated. But I also had the pinched box version of the Warrior Evo 4X6. This head right here, the Warrior Evo 4X6 box lacrosse edition. Probably gonna give it away at some point, so stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. You can only win this if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, follow me, KJChoy47 on Instagram. But in the near future, this head will be given away. But you have to subscribe. Hit that red button. That red subscribe button, hit it. Subscribe to this channel. There's gonna be some good stuff. Last but not least, the most exciting part. Because I get a lot of questions about how I string my stick, what, I, what kind of mesh I use, how my sidewall pattern is. What I'm going to do is you can send me your stick. Don't send me the shaft. I just want the physical head, mesh, sidewall, all included. All you have to do, send it to my address. I'll leave my address in the description below. As soon as I get that stick, I'll string it up, send it right back to you. But I do not want the shaft. Do not send the shaft with you. You need the head, mesh, sidewall, shooters. That's it. Send me the stick. I'll string it up and get it right back to you. In the meantime, make sure you subscribe to this channel. People that know a little bit of story behind this hat, Comment your story if you have one. Otherwise, see you guys in the next vlog. Peace.